Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Are you surprised to see me again today? I know, I know, but I really wanted to get this video out for you because these just arrived in the mail. The They just dropped it off, which is so unusual. Before I get started, let me just, please give me just like two minutes to explain why I'm doing this today, why I'm, I'm putting up a video today when I just put one up yesterday. It's because I just received these and I wanted to get them out to you because at Franny's Hair, she is offering 40% off on Tressalore from the from starting today. But this video, well, for you yesterday, for me today, from July 3rd till July 7th. I haven't seen Tressalore with 40% off anywhere else. But so, and that doesn't mean anything. It just means I haven't seen it. But I know that Franny's hair has them at 40% off, which is a great deal. Plus, they are offering a gift with purchase where for every Tress Allure <clears throat> that you purchase, you'll get a, a shampoo. So I thought that was a great deal. I purchased these myself at, at Franny's hair. As soon as I saw that they were available, I put my order in. And they, this is not a wig review. It is just showing you these three new colors that Tressalore has added. So far, they've only added it on Beach Wave Magic. And the next one that they'll be added to will be to Pixie Light. It's already, it already shows on Franny's Hair website. Contact their customer service and see if they're already ready for shipping. Because that, other than that, I mean, I, I, it shows on Backwater. But I don't know if it's because they're not ready to ship yet. But if you contact their customer service, they'll let you know right away if they'll when they'll ship. But they'll, these are the two styles where these colors are currently available. I my understanding is that they will be added to other styles from uh, Tressalore. These colors are going to be only for the styles that are heat friendly fibers right now i'm wearing picture perfect from tress allure in my new favorite color 1723 r8 i will show you each color in outside light inside light in the shade in the sun i'll give you i'll show it to you as many different ways as i can so you can get a good idea on the color and see if it's something that you might like before you order it now this is only for for the colors it's not a wig review i have reviewed beach wave magic i will leave it linked for you in case you want to see more about the wig this is strictly for the colors and since i am working on franny's hair private facebook group i have to invite you all over to come and join us please come on over i'm always in there i answer questions you have a question about a wig there's a 90 percent chance that i'll be the one responding to your question so please come on over. It's a great group, great members. There is no drama there. It's all asking questions, wig related, showing styles. Just a wonderful place to be. Come on over. Just please don't forget to answer all the questions and agree to the group rules. All right, let's get started. Euro light colors. These colors will begin with an EL and that indicates it's a Euro light color. Eurolite colors indicates they are multi-tones blended together with bright highlights around the face, less highlights on the crown and on the sides, and then the highlights increase slightly at the very back. We're going to take a look. I haven't taken these out of the box. I just opened the great big box. I haven't even cut tags on them, so I don't know. The first one really intrigued me because the color is EL. 1222R8. For those of you that follow color codes, you probably that probably sounds familiar to you because 1222 is the color for shaded cappuccino on Raquel Welch. So I'll compare it to the shaded cappuccino from Raquel Welch so we could see if there's any similarities. That way, if you are a wearer of shaded cappuccino and you want to and you want a, a similar color in Tress Allure, this is the way to go. One thing I have to tell you, I absolutely love about Tress Allure. I love their fibers. I love their minimal, if any, permities and their average, light to average density. They also fit up an average 
on the larger end of average. So they have a good amount of stretch to them. This is the one that we're going to compare to Shaded Cappuccino. I have a dress rehearsal here next to me. I can tell you right off the bat, just by taking it out of the box, that it is nowhere near Shaded Cappuccino. I don't even have to put them next to each other. I will, for your sake, but they're not anywhere near. And, you know, that's something that we really need to keep in mind. What might be a color, just because the color codes, it's, it's kind of a general. A to give us a general idea if it's a blonde or a brunette or a red or a gray. However, the colors will differ from brand to brand, as you will see with this 1222. All right, the first thing that we're going to look at, they're saying that the lighter fibers are framing the face, and I am seeing that, and less of the highlights on the sides and more on the back, and I'm also seeing that. I'm going to take out my shaded cappuccino. The thing with Tressalore is they, while they give us two numbers in the color codes, Tressalore says that they combine or blend a, seven or eight colors to create colors. However, their color codes do not indicate what colors they are. And that is what I'm seeing here. I am seeing a strawberry blonde or a very light auburn maybe it's a reddish a very light reddish brown while in shaded cappuccino we have more of a neutral color leaning cool we don't have any red in in shaded cappuccino i think that's basically because with raquel welch they what colors they use are the ones that are given but just so you could see. See what a difference that is? Totally, totally different colors. So for those of you that wear shaded cappuccino, this is going to be a lot warmer than our shaded cappuccino. I don't want you confused because of the color code. Okay. All right, let's go over this color. They're saying that we have a, a blend of a light golden brown with gold blonde highlights and a medium brown root. The color 1222 R8. There are definitely more colors blended in here. They did a nice job adding some of that gold blonde highlight to the lace front, but we don't have a band. So it's done really, really nicely. So they're saying that these this is multi-tone, bright highlights around the face, less highlights at the crown, on the sides and on the crown, and more highlights towards the back. By the way, that root, they're calling it a medium brown root, and I have to agree with them. It's not a dark root at all. We'll take a walk out. I'll, I'll take you outside. We'll go to the shade. Well, I'll show it to you inside in front of a window. And that way you could see what it looks like in the various lights. I'm inside the house. I'm in front of my window. I don't have any lights on. I'm just standing in front of the window so you could see what it looks like just in regular natural light. All right, no light here. This is just in, in my hallway here. All right, coming outside. Yeah, that was my bell. Here I am. This, I'm under the, the little roof here, right outside the door. So this is what it looks like in the shade. Now let's go in the sun. See if I could get with the sun behind me. Beautiful 
day in Central Florida. All right, the next one that I'm going to show you is EL 1426 R10. Now, they, in the color description, they're calling this root, which is an eight, they're calling it a medium brown root. They're also calling the root on the one that I'm going to show you, they're also calling it a medium brown root, but it is a 10. I don't know. Hey, that's the way Tressa Lore designs it. Nobody asked me. Nobody asked me to give it a different number. This, again, we're going to have a warm color. This is a warm color. Definitely a warm color here. You could see it compared to the 1222. So 12 is usually darker than the 14. And the 26 is lighter than a 22. 26 is usually a reddish blonde. And I have to say that that's exactly what this is. This is definitely a warm color. Now let's take a look at these roots. They're calling this root a 10. And they're calling it a medium brown. They're calling this root an 8. They're also calling it a medium brown. It appears to be golden and lighter. Even though they're calling it a, they're calling it a medium brown, this R10 is definitely lighter than the R8. All right, here we have EL1426 R10, definitely a warm color. The blonde on here appears to, to lean pretty gold. There, I'll read you their description and then I'll tell you what I see. They're calling the, they're describing this as a warm red brunette blended with cool gold blonde. Uh, no. To me, gold is not a cool color. So, but we're going to leave it on there because I'm not the designer. I'm going to call it a gold blonde. Yeah, highlight it with a gold blonde. So definitely a reddish brunette and highlight it with a golden blonde. I see absolutely no cool color in here. And that blonde is definitely a gold blonde. I don't usually wear gold blondes, but by golly, this is really pretty. And the root is gorgeous. There, the lace front is blended with the golden brown or with the rooted brown and the golden blonde. But again, we don't have a band. It is just, and the lace just blends with the skin. Beautiful. All right, let's go outside so you can see 1426 R10 inside, outside, in the shade, in the sun, and then I'll come back. All right, this is 1426 R10. Again, in front of my window here, no lights on. But you know what? When I went upstairs and I changed my wigs, I, I took off the 1222, it appears that 1222 it leans a little bit cooler than the 1426 which makes sense because 26 is like a reddish blonde if you will and as you can see and the front the blonde on the front it seems a bit cooler so if you're looking for a cool color or leaning cool i would say go with the 1222 this one is definitely a warm color, both the blonde and the highlights that we have here. Walking through my messy house. I know, I know, don't look. I wasn't expecting company today. Let me get my glasses on before I go outside. Okay, no light on out here in my entryway at all. Let's go outside. All right, here it is in the shade. I 
from the sun. Show you that root. I forgot to show you the root on the other one. All right, this next one does not have a root. And this one is very light. Oh my. I can tell you right now that this color is not up my alley. For me, for me to wear is what I mean. Be wonderful for all of you that love blonde, but oh my goodness. I'm taking one for the team here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is that usually, maybe because I don't wear these light colors, we usually have a dark cap, you know, the weft cap. But on this color, 272588, as you can see, we have a light cap. You blondes are just going to love this. I think, I guess. You let me know if this is something that you would wear. So don't laugh at me when I put it on. No, it doesn't look good on me and it's okay because it's not about me. It's about me showing it to you. <laughs> that's it let's forget about how it looks on me and let's just concentrate on the color okay just cover my face all right 272588 as you can see we don't have a root we have the very lighter fibers on the front a blend of light auburn all right so they're calling that a light auburn i'll take that and gold blonde absolutely and they're saying that there is platinum highlights in this blend. I don't see it, but just because I don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. And it could be just uh, in the blend. I think that if you like warm blondes, you will love it. If you like to wear cool blondes, you may want to consider another color, maybe in another brand. Because as far as I know, there aren't true cool blonde across the board in Tressa All right, let me show it to you on, oh, let me show you the, the lace front. Very light. You could see that dark right there that you see, that's my hair, I think. Yeah, that's my hair. Let me show it to you on all sides. All right, let's go outside. I'll show it to you in the shade, in the sun, in indoor light. I'll do all of that and then I'll come back. And here we have 27, 25, 88. Gorgeous color, it's just not, it's just not me, hey. Oh, gotta take one for my team. Beautiful, beautiful color. Definitely a warm blonde with a very light blonde there in the front. Let's see what it looks like outside. In the shade. In the sun. It's gonna blind all of us, huh? Right. <laughs> Absolutely love this twelve twenty two R eight. Absolutely love it. And the next one would be the 1426 R10. Let me know what you think about these new colors from Tressalore. I really like them. Well, I like the two rooted ones the best for me. The other one is beautiful. It's just, I can't wear it. It's too light, too gold, too not rooted. So I can't wear that color, but it may be a color for you. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you were trying to decide on these colors, if these colors, uh, if you hadn't seen them, let me know what you think. Remember, I'm not the designer. I'm not going to be insulted. So. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye.